Hello, everybody. Um, again, I want to share my story of a little bit of my experience of growing up in the foster care system. Um, I pretty much, from the age of seven to the age of 18, I spent many of my years um, in the foster care system, went through many trials, went through many tribulations, um, and um, I went through a lot, uh, along with hundreds of other children who were who were there during the time I was in there. Of course, back then it was in the late it was in the late you know early nineties, mid nineties, you know, over twenty some years ago. But the system is, is still the same as it was back then. There has been some changes to the foster care system since that time, but pretty much it's still the same as far as um, that is concerned. You know, um, we we have kids now hundreds and even thousands of children across this nation um who are in the foster care system um we have individuals we have people um kids who will have to be there until they're 18 unfortunately um many of the many of the kids i remember their mom and dad were were on drugs their fathers were alcoholics and many times many often times the kids are taken away from their parents due to these conditions the child has the child had nothing to do with their parents' drug addiction or alcoholism. And unfortunately for children, we had we had no say. We couldn't be like, we're not going nowhere. But as we got older, we had a say. But when you're children, the ball falls within the older adults or whoever, CPS or whoever, the county or the state, whatever you want to call it. And that was my experience, you know, um, pretty much in the foster care system. You know, I I went through I went through it all, everyone. I went through the, the through the emotional, physical, um, not the sexual abuse, but I've heard horror stories of children who went through all of it. I went through the physical and the emotional part of it. Um, foster care children never learn anything. We weren't taught much of nothing. So when we turned eighteen in the foster care system. I didn't know how to fill out a bank card. I didn't know what a bank card was. I didn't know what a checking or savings account was. And I'm always reminded of that. To walk in a, to, to walk in a bank your first time in the world, you're an adult, you're considered an adult at 18. You walk into the bank the first time. You walk into the bank the first time, right? You walk into the bank the first time, you don't know what you're doing. I didn't know what the world and this lady is so I don't and I always share this story with everybody. Everybody be like, a lot of people are touched um by my story. And um I like I walked into that bank. I didn't know what I was doing. I was frozen. You're 18, you you're 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 considered an adult, you're still a kid, you're still a teenager for crying out loud. Now I think they're up to age to 21 now in the foster care system which is good. That gives you an extra two years to do what you are to your independence, to where you can save money for your own apartment or your independent living, they call it, or they used to call it. Um, I share my story with everybody. Um, I, ex I, me personally, I experienced some of the most hellish years you could even dream, you could even dream possible. The foster, being in a foster care is not a bowl of cherries, as some people think. You're placed, you're placed, placed, placed. You're from place to house, house to house, place to place. You're living with different families. You never have a stable place. You're always, you're always living with a different family, living with different people, living with total strangers. <laughs> City after city, city after city. We can never adjust to schools. Every time we would have rolled into a school, whether it be middle school or whatever, six months down the road, a year down the road, we were gone again. We had no say. The state had control over us kids. Whatever the state recommended, whatever their recommendations were, we had to go by that. We as kids had to go by that. Parents, hold on to your children. Do not ever allow the state to take your kids, whether it be CPS or anyone. 
you go back and get them immediately. Although you're going to go through a lot of paperwork, but it's worth it. You have to do it for your kids, for you. Never allow the state to take control over your over your kids, because once the courts get it, it's going to be a lot of a lot of paperwork. It could take us six months up to a year before you actually get your kids back. So make sure you do not allow the state CPS or anyone to take your kids or you go you go down fighting. It ain't going to happen. I would be I'll be filing lawsuits and everything with, with your local city or state. That, sh that should never have happened. And who, and people that do that, the people that do that for actually people who call CPS on other people's children, shame on you. Because they're never going to allow, they may not ever see their kids again. Or they, they can they can go from visitation. Yeah, that, yeah, they can go visit them wherever they may be, wherever home they may be at. But when those, when those kids see you leave, see you as a mom or father leave, it's never the same. They're living with complete strangers. These are people who decided to go into the foster care system, although you did have someone that were actually good-hearted families who, who were there with you, who accepted you as their own, which was amazing. Which was amazing. You had all you had all of that. You had you had all of that. You had you did have certain families who did the right thing. But, the, but for the majority of them, they was in it for the money. They were in it for their own deep, uh, or money fortune and, and greedy fortune to, to, pay some, to pay some extra bills or to pay their mortgage for their house. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I'm sharing with you. That's what I'm sharing with you guys. We, we have to be mindful of that. We have, to, we have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt. This, this, is, this is what it is. Never allow your children to be taken into the state custody. Don't never allow it to happen because it could be up to six months, maybe two years before you can get them back. I'm pretty sure your parents don't want to go through that. But every step of the way you fight to get them back, if it ever happens, God forbid it never does. So anyways, I want to share that real quick. Um, less than 10 minute video. So again, that is my experience growing up in the foster care system. There is so much more to my story. Push that, push that like and subscribe button. Like and subscribe to my page. Push that bell for future videos I will upload to my channel. And again, love you all. Have a great Sunday. God bless. Peace, blessings, and love. Share my video, all that. And, and, and let people know. Let, I, I want the world. I want, I want y'all to know the horrors that go on in these homes. What the abuse I went through. The emotional abuse I went through in these foster homes. I want y'all to know. So again, love y'all. Be blessed. Have a great day. Peace.